Okay. Um. So, there's been a little bit of a drought in content. I, uh, I kind of promised my family and friends I wouldn't stress myself out too much doing Date Night and Tear from the Basement anymore. That might mean a few less episodes. And that's kind of better anyway. But, uh, hang on, let me turn it down. Yeah. And it crashed. Of course it did. But, uh... I, so... So I said I'd... I'd chill out a bit, but... I don't want to lose too much of February. I mean, it's a special month, and this is a special thing, and... I want to do it. Because I think it's fun and hilarious, but, uh... I, uh... Haven't... I've just been so busy that I haven't really been able to, to plan with the guys to, to get together, so I'm just going to record a quick one tonight so that I have something for you, just so that date night still exists, just to remind you that I remember that date night still exists. And this looks like a doozy, so let's do this. Alright, okay, so despite what this is, this intro is getting me hyped as shit, dude. I am in this. But they're all gonna be in a high school, and that's where it's all gonna fall apart. I miss my friends. I miss my friends. Good morning, Silas. Who what? Who said that? It's me. I'm your narrator. My who? And how do you know my name? It's written above all your dialogue. You're a main character now, Silas. That was more like Sam Elliott and less like Morgan Freeman than I was going for in my in my brain meets. But that's what we're doing now. So you get your very own narrator to guide you through the day and highlight moments of tension and drama. Huh? Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm pretty okay with that. Wonderful. Then I'll explain to you about... Your voice is kind of cute, by the way. What are you wearing? <laughs> oh. Oh, my. No, you can't do that. I'm a gaming abstraction. Bad sea loss. Aw. Oh. Oh dear, now I'm blushing. Now pay attention, you ought to get to school. It's 8.35 already. You don't want to be late, do you? Oh, right! Oh man, yeah, that reminds me. I was kind of nervous about today. Oh dear, why was that? Well, you see, the festival's tonight, right? Oh yes. Oh yes, the Lantern Festival. Yes. Anyhow, it's kind of traditional to ask someone along, and I figured I'd be really fun. But I'm not sure who, and I'm a sh little shy guy asking the fucking bit. <laughs> I'm a little shy guy about a the asking bit. <laughs> I don't know where I had the F word in there, but I read it. What? You were hitting on your own narrator just a minute ago. Eh. <laughs> well, it's hard to be shy with a lady with a cute voice who's already in there in my room when I wake up, if you know what I mean. Oh, so I, that was supposed to be a female voice? Oh my! The blushing! Go to school, shoo, off with you! 
We'll talk more on the way, all right? <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, hey, see. Ah, oh, a kitty. Sorry, Theo. One sec. Here, kitty. Oh, you're so adorable. I shall pet you, kitty. Hiya. Meow. The cat, thoroughly petted, gives a satisfied cheer. Anyway, where was I? Oh, hey, Theo. Hug bumps. Hug bumps. The fuck are hug bumps? That boing. So, want to race to school? Huh? Huh? You're gonna lose. I just ate a whole lot of sugary, sugary cereal. Heh. <laughs> I can tell. You're vibrating even faster than usual. <sniffs> yeah, alright. I'll see if I can catch you. Um, I couldn't be less in the target audience for this, you know? Give me a sec, though. Maybe, maybe I'm exactly the target audience for this. Maybe this was made for me. I just need to dig deep, deep down inside me and bring it out. But I don't know if I can do that today. I was supposed to be having a quick chat with my narrator. Narrator? Did you say narrator? Oh, hi, Housie. Yeah, I had one when I woke up. Oh, dude, you are so screwed. Having your own narrator means you're the main character. So I gather. I'm not sure what that entails yet, though. Well, for starters, you're gonna lose this race, guaranteed. Protagonist always gets to the destination last. Oh darn, how do you know? You were there, man. I've seen shit. They put a bomb in my stomach. I've said too much. Anyway, good luck, man. This Metal Gear now? Ah, uh, well, I'm a little unnerved now. Boring. So are we gonna race, huh? Race me. I'm so hyped. Okay, okay, I'll race you. Woo! Ready, set, go. Hey! Damn it. Theo brags like crazy when he wins that stuff. I have to beat him or he'll be smug all day and I'll feel stupid. Yeah, yes, you must win. You're going to need all the confidence you can get today. Do your best. <gasps> oh, hey, Sidewalk. It forks here. Uh, what's this floating thing in front of my face? Congratulations. Your first choice menu has appeared. Oh, of course we're gonna go through the dim seedy alley. I mean, we want to open up the best options. Well, if I manage to run through this way without stepping on any used syringes, I can shave off a couple of streets distance and beat Theo easily. Are you sure, dear? This alleyway looks a bit of an obvious initial bad choice that gets you killed. Uh, it might have sassy, badly dressed 80s muggers in it, or worse. Well, well, I'll risk it. I'm the hero today. Are you absolutely sure? Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Alleyway schmalleyway. Well, very well. Oh, n oh no. I did warn you. I know, I know. Hey, kid. Um, hi. Well, we're both shorter than me, but I don't really like how many stabby things they have. Where are you running to? Why are you going so fast? And they're flipping coins and shit. You some kind of speedy guy? 
Boy, your banter needs work. Fuck me. Alright. Where are you going, kid? Um, school. <laughs> school. You some kind of school going guy. Shut up, knucklehead. So you're going to school. You don't want to be late, do you? Why don't you come on through? <laughs> What's the matter? Are you scared? It's a terrible start to my day. Yeah, uh, you're in the way. Could I go through? We're not in the way. What are you talking about? We're like way over here. Uh, there's no room to walk by. Could I just be calling us fat kid? That's not nice. Yeah, we're real sensitive. Elfer, look, look, what do you want? I don't have any money. Oh, I don't know. Maybe give us your backpack. Yeah, give us your backpack, kid. We're hardcore backpack addicts. We'll do something crazy messed up to you if we can't get our fix. I get the zippers. Fine, but I get the little pouch of water bottle for water books. Ah, oh, great. Now I'm getting mugged. What the hell do I do? Oh, I'm not sure, but there's only options I can... Th here's the only options I can think of. Well... I mean... Are they really in my way? Let's just go. Screw it, I'm gonna shove past these idiots and run for school. They got like Ninja Turtles ass shit too, like size and shit. No, sea loss, no. Oh, bad idea, kid. Well, what should we do with him? I say we take his clothes as well. Oh, no. Also, ow. <laughs> okay, my day is legitimately ruined now. Screw trying to do anything else. After I drag my naked ass home and call the cops, I'm gonna crawl back into bed and eat ice cream. Oh, sea loss, I'm sorry. I did say. I know. Probably could have dealt with that better. Hey, don't worry, narrator lady. I'll bounce back. I'll have another crack at this later. Right now, it looks like my dates for the festival tonight are gonna be a tub of caramel ripple in a pool of my own tears. Game over. All right. All right. So that's what a death state is. So we're just going to go the normal way now. Hell with it. I'm just going to run after him and beat him fair and square. Well said. And so you run valiantly, sweat cascades off your brows. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. As a little fast, the limit will be enough. Puff, puff. Oh, look at this final boss over here. Puff, puff. Hey, cool bros. We, I won, I won. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Alright. Alright. I had to have a date night episode today. I had to. I can't let this month just go by. I have to press on. Despite the fact that I'm playing this furry puffy love thing and sneezing my ass off and getting stabbed in alleyways and shit, the world needs me. The world needs me. Gotta go fast. Yay. 
I beat Sea Loss in a race. Oh, shush, would you? Never to rub it. Oh, hello, Sea Loss. Hey, Krara, what's up? Well, besides trying to make myself heard over this constant squeaking, I had some important to dis something important to discuss with you. Uh, sure, man. Tell me all about it. I've asked your teacher if I can pull you out of class for the first lesson and come help us finish the sculpture in the art room. We agreed you were the best of the group at squeezing or molding incredibly sticky things. Well, they agreed I wouldn't know myself. Oh, you're blushing, Kara. Why are you blushing, huh? huh? Tell me. Shut up, or I'll put you on the roof. No, it's so high up there. I'll die. See, us, he's being mean. Whoa, simmer down, guys. I've got a lot of work still to do for Miss Michael's class, but I'll see if I can skip out and help you guys. It would be a good to get that sculpture done. So, is this based on, like, someone's actual teacher? Like, and once it's complete, the curse will be broken, and I won't be pers pursued but through my dreams by that stupid howling gloobies. Uh, I know, I'm so sick of him. Granted, he's more annoying than terrifying, but still. Gypsy curses are the worst. <sighs> yes, I know. It's, it's on, it's in the words. Tell me about it. Wait, how'd you guys get Romani cursed? Why do you care? You wouldn't understand. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's worse. I don't know. I'm gonna go blow my nose and rethink everything. What the hell? Date night 2020 is the year that Pat confronts my spiraling mental health and spiraling sanity and you're along for the ride with me long story we're taking too we're talking too much at the back of miss sweet's class but why would wait see loss you're in my class on her first lesson if you go to the art room i'll have no one to hang out with and I wanted to show you my new card trick I learned, and my awesome marbles I got from Italy, and my new birthmark, and my butterfly beret. Have you, have you ever paid attention in a lesson before? Shut up! I really think that finishing our sculpture project is a little more important than... Silas, don't hang out with him all morning. He's dumb and mean, and I'm awesome, and I'll cry if you go. I swear I'll cry. Oh, for the love of... Guys! Guys! Ch chill. Give me a second to think. I'm still puffed from running. Carry on ahead. I'll catch up. Okay. I trust I'll see you in a few minutes, Silas. Bleh. You'll come to my class, right, Silas? Hee <laughs> hee. Kissy faces. Yeah, I know. Theo, I will if I can, okay? Theo! Now, I hate this one. Yay, pounces. Oh my god, hey, Yuni! Hey! Found you! Oh, I can show you my new card trick. It's super rad and stuff. Yes, yes, yes! Come on, I left my cards in my bag. Race you. I swear those two, but they were born, their mothers must have given candy floss instead of anesthetic. Well, off to class. Our hero heads towards the first class of the day to wait. Which class do you think he'll go to? Not quite sure. I'm trying to decide. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you! Scorpions! Huh? Me?
Yeah, you! You think it's funny? A what? What's funny? How could you? It's so disgusting that you would dare joke about this. About what? What are you even talking about? Oh, you know perfectly well. You're the one going around spreading the rumors that I style my hair with elf urine. Elf what? I haven't spread any rumors. Oh my goodness. He, oh my goodness. He's denying it. What bareface lies. Oh, the shame of it. Thank goodness we didn't believe his lies when Alan told us what he said. The path of the virtuous is narrow yet rewarding. There, you heard that? You've been making me a laughing stock. Everyone's talking about it now. I, I'll thump you. My, such sort of displays of falsehood and violence. Truly, we reap what we sow. Oh, sweaty giraffe balls. Guess I've been set up. What a typical high school thing to have happened. What have you got to say for yourself, you, you hair besmircher? Ah, crap. How do I make him believe me? Uh-oh, uh-oh, indeed. How indeed will our brave hero respond? Working on it. Don't rush me. I'm just gonna deny it. Because I didn't do it, right? me that would be the sensible thing to do so let's do something else let's return fire with mockery so you don't style your hair with elf urine whoa no huh well you can't have fooled me it looks wet and kind of droopy are you sure <sighs> you certain you didn't maybe pass out in the woods after one late night of drinking with cool bros <sighs> Oh, this is magical. He's getting steadily more furious. Unless it was unless it wasn't an accident. It was an accident, right? Please tell me you didn't pay to have it done like that. Mm. That's so sad. Especially when there's so many elves who haven't done it for free. Oh right, I see. Yes. Everyone's shackle. Oof. Oh. Get your elf fluids away from me. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing, you vile quiff dis disparager. I'm gonna hoist you up the flagpole. I hope that's not a euphemism. Shut up. I will destroy your crimes against the sanctity of hair to the old school. Up you go. What the? Get that rope off my ankle. Hey. Put me down. Lighters. Lighters, Jack. Good luck getting down. I oh, see. So you took the moral high ground. <laughs> You're really head and shoulders above the rest of us now. I guess he thought you had a bad altitude. <laughs> All right. Hey, get me down. Sure glad everyone's in class right now or I'd look like a right nincompoop. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my. They caught a bad man. He looks so scary. There's rude things drawn all over his face. Is that an elf? Yay, I love elves. Ew, that's dirty. Do you think so? Well, I better not show you when a lemonade is made sweet lemonade. He's making sweet, mean faces at us. Let's throw back bark chips at him. Aw, oh, bits fennels. Ow. Alright, clear off. Grawl. You better run, you little horrors. I'll get you. Horrors. Like, rurs. Multiple syllables there. So much bark. Short time later, our valiant hero succeeds in scrambling down from the flagpole. Or does he? See, lost? Oh. Oh, yeah, he does that. I'm just lucky the school's been cutting costs lately. If this flag lanyard wasn't made of factory ejected beef jerky, I would have been a lot harder and less pleasant to chew through. Wow. Can't believe I ate the whole thing. 
Anyways, I'm off to class to learn and ponder my bad choices and junk. Alright, do your best. Oh, slippery floor, slippery floor, uh, oof. What the heck, there's glue everywhere. It's only a matter of time until my diapers get really stuck in the glue. Kra Kra and the others must have spilled some when they were getting the sculpting gear out. Ah, damn it. Now I have to figure out which class I'm going to. No finished sculpture or crying Theo. Screaming glue beast or crying Theo. Drakey choice. Apparently, she's just kicked the guy's asses. Oh. How many characters are going to throw at me in this thing? Barehanded, too. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Someone said she had a mask, like a bank robber, stocking kind of thing. Nah, just a scarf tied around her head. Right. Wow. Wonder where she'll show up next. Oh, hey, Silas. What's up, guys? Hey, shrimp. Me? Lend me 20 bucks for lunch. What? Why? I'm hungry. I'll give it back, I swear. <laughs> I've only got 10 bucks for my own lunch. Perfect. Give me. No, I don't want to. Then I'll just have to take it off you. Hey, you. Get off his case. I'll take yours, too, if you don't keep your mouth shut. Just try it. I've had it up to here with you going around shaking people down. Oh, this will be fun. I'm going to, huh? What? <laughs> you got lucky, squirt. See you around. Whew. Thanks, Silver. No problem. Oh, damn. We're late. Come on, Sai. See you in class, I guess. See you lost. Most likely. Huh? What was that all about? Uh -huh. Our hero, truly a swift and decisive young individual, rapidly chooses which classroom he will spend the first lesson in and strides manfully toward it. Oh, eh, sorry. We get right on that. Of course I'm going with Kra Ra. You kidding me? Hey, guys. Hey, yo. Oh, still alive, huh? Nice one. No game overs yet, huh? Um, none that I know of. But judging by a couple of really contrived encounters with bullies, what you said before school was right on the money. Hey again, Krara. Oh, hello. Thank you for coming to help, Silas. I appreciate you turning up. No problem, Kra. We're a team. We're all in this together. It, yes. And soon we'll be free of the glue beast curse. Oh yeah, you never explained that whole deal. I heard you saying something about it the other day. You were talking out a turn in Miss Sweet's class, and then something, something... Curse? Didn't make any sense to me. Sweet's naughty. Ah, oh, just, just skip this. 